Any CEO who says, I'm going to invest in Russia without any protection, without any personal relations with the authorities, meaning corrupt ones as well, is either a naive person or he's blatantly lying to you. Michael Calvi, of course, facing some very serious charges. Do you think there's justification in these charges, or is he being used as a political pawn? Premier Calvi. The example of Michael Calvi is actually a very, very sad case for Russian business and for foreign investors. Calvi is a person that you can't say anything bad about him. People are saying he was in some sort of political conflict with the authorities, but that's total nonsense. Calvi is a pure investor who's always played on the side of business and stayed away from anything political. Right. So why? I mean, to take your answer, you're either suggesting he did do something financially wrong or that this is something else. Look, when you find yourself in a place where a criminal gang is in charge and you have a bag of money, sooner or later, at some point, somebody's going to take that bag of money away from you. Calvi spent a long time in this place. People noticed his bag of money. That's all. Sure. Fourteen years after launching his economic empire, Mikhail Khodorkovsky finds himself caught up in a political storm that threatens to undermine Russia's economic progress. What was it like going through that process where you are extremely rich, you are well and truly on the inside, and it all goes terribly wrong, and you find yourself convicted. What was that like? Believe me, in jail, I was being entertained all the time. There were four hunger strikes where I was standing up for my own rights and the rights of my friends. Once I was stabbed. I was convicted twice, thrown around 6,000 kilometers in one direction and then 8,000 kilometers in the other direction. No, it was entertaining. Russia's president appears to have Russia's richest man right where he wants him, behind bars. Now it's Mikhail Khodorkovsky's turn to face the wrath of Vladimir Putin. The head of Yukos Oil Company, this oligarch's wealth, an estimated $8 billion, and political power unprecedented, leading him to openly defy Vladimir Putin. You made your money at that time. You were very fortunate, but could you see, because let's turn to the business side, could you see at that stage the corruption, the, uh, the, the selling off of assets for favorable friends, could you see all that taking place? Back then, we were just kids playing in a sandbox, but it did take place, and that's precisely why in 2003 I came to Putin with a proposal to put an end to the story of corruption in our country. I spoke about corruption in the country and proposed that we've got to stop this because we're getting in too deep. I said we're the ones that have to put an end to it. After which, a month later, a criminal case was opened against me and I ended up in jail for 10 years. We begin tonight with an extraordinary story. The former tycoon whose oil company was dismantled by the Kremlin is out of prison but after serving 10 years, Mikhail Khodorkovsky says he does not want to be a symbol of a freer, fairer Russia. I've read that you do want to go back to Russia and you would like to play a part in Russian life, but not as president. Uh, yes. I believe that in our country, any person who comes into Putin's position is going to become an autocrat. I don't want to test this on myself. I don't want that to happen to me. So, uh, so, whoa, whoa, hang on. So are you saying it's not possible to have, uh, or it would take much more to change the system so that the presidency does not become an autocracy, that there needs to be constitutional change? Absolutely. We have a mechanism for this in the country, and it hasn't yet been destroyed as of today. What is your fundamental fear now about Russia and Putin? as we go in towards 2019, an election in 2020 in the United States, but just even globally, in, in terms of the relationships that, and, and the nationalism that Putin is riding, what is your fundamental fear? I believe most of all that Russia is a European country for which democracy is just as suitable as for any other European country. My greatest fear is that our historical faith in a good czar 
will force us to put somebody in Putin's place, to put a new Putin in his place, and we'll get into yet another spiral of the same old, same old. I really hope that Russian society has gotten mature enough to abandon autocracy. And you're going to play your part? I am. I am playing my role. I very much hope that this will still happen during the active part of my life and that I will be able to play a substantial role in the new Russia.